the I help my teachers out like dang dang diddy dang dang sin. So much me go teach you about piece of the one black Johnny and out in the club. Everybody on Sinatra, look around. Everybody on Sinatra, I ain't just go bonkers, make the young girls wild. And then go just make the smile. They don't need binoculars. Make wanna pull out. They got you. Ring, ba bum ba bum. Aerosol can, ba bum ba bum. Monkey outside, ba bum ba bum. No night, ba bum ba bum. Pop it on, get a bum. Take a clang, clang, clang. Hang on to that like a rainbow. Transform to a grown man and transform again like. Skateboard can make more. Still my style, ain't got no reward. Like hmm, make yourself bigger like mushroom. Mario Kart, yeah. All y'all wanna get like me. All y'all wanna spit like P. Miss. Wanna hit like me? Uh, Meanwhile, you wanna kiss my child rebel so you hit that for the combo. And then the dress on a rhino, boom. Mm. Commodore like Lionel, zoom. All of that like a new Rayron. Am I wrong? Ride with my main all night long. One second I'm here, next second I'm gone. That's two and sixty seconds. What you want? Girls on me like they super glued on. Like a table you can place food on. Like Szechuan, oh who not? I'm hot like the place move on. Ring. Song sung on my man Nigo. That's a law. When the doors go up, it's like a fresh hell jaw. We boss. He shall not get hot. He too frost. Yes, sir. Close your eyes. Just picture yourself just holding pies. Implement a plan and your shoulders rise. That's yes, promised by the man that controlled the skies. You see, I know so ill. Better yet, doggy, just tell me how you feel. <laughs> how you feel, dog? We just picture thinking, dreaming, scheming. Reading all in the late night, shaking, boiling, lacing, baking, shaping, shaving. Gotta get this cake right as I serve it. You just burn it, breathe it, learn it. Now watch you take flight. How does it feel? Ha ha. Yes, sir. You don't know me. I'm Paul Howard Hughes. Paul, Paul Holy. First trick on the ramp is the rock and rolly. Keep one on my staff with a new pro pro me. It bequeathed me to mention that I've been bitten, but affords me to chuckle at what critics have written. He dresses insane, but his music admire. And a winner from Vogue and Esquire And Vanity Fair, you like Kennedy, yeah But you should guess who's in the insanity chair Now it ain't about what I want Still thumbing through my life like It's one thing to say that you did it It's one thing to lie about your digits It's one thing to say that you're living It's another 
to admit it. But I admit I got all this paper, plus the prettiest faces that's offered by nature. I drive a case, but excuse me, Casper. Wanna meet him in my house, I got space like NASA. It don't make me happier by itself, it's sadder. I like my sister Stace when she lost her papa. A Ben dad getting a stroke and nothing to trap her. John could do it, Saronic but true. A man dies, baby born to spare as Peru. It's a simple clue between us and imposters. We hop in the air and don't care what it cost us. Now I'm with a nerd with a pit full of marshes. I guess you could say that we fly like saucers. Zapping at we're class and act vigor. The cash and crash with us, the thrash and mag gripper. Go ahead and say it. Never close your eyes. Just picture yourself just holding pies. Implement a plan and you surely rise. That's promised by the man that controlled the skies. But you see, I know that it's so ill. Better yet, doggy, just tell me how you feel. How you feel, dog? We just picture thinking, dreaming, scheming. Reading all in the late night, shaking, boiling, lacing, baking, shaping, shaving. Gotta get this cake right as I serve it. You just burn it, breathe it, learn it. Now watch you take flight. How does it feel? Ha ha. You yes, hurt. You don't know me. Wait till you're announced. We've not yet lost all our graces The hounds will stay in chase Look upon your greatness as you'll send The call out, 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 send
It's a Western Conference battle at the FedEx Forum in downtown Memphis as the Grizzlies look to work the home court advantage. Welcome everybody, Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and the rest of our terrific 2K crew. Glad you decided to spend your Thursday night with us. You look at the Nuggets. Look at where they've been, guys, where they're headed right now. Hard to say exactly considering they have not played that well. And, Kevin, a win here gets them even for what happened the last time these two squared off. That game was one they'd rather forget. But if they can pull this one off, they'll be tied at one in the season series and have a chance to win it when they hook up for their third and final game down the road. And the importance of that can't be discounted, believe me. I mean, even if it wasn't about evening up the season series, I'm just getting a small measure of revenge for their loss in the first game. I think that's going to drive them really hard tonight. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Wilson Chandler out there with Arthur. Then it's Will Barton. Then it's Nelson. And it's Nurkic in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Allen. Here's Randolph. He's on target from eight feet out. Randolph's got the game going with his first points of the game for Memphis. Let's go. You're in. All right, well done. And so here's Memphis. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. It was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought, uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, right? Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and shooting percentage was right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. Tiny, he's checked in for Jameer Nelson. The Nuggets trail by three. And as you said and documented quite well, the Grizzlies not a big outside shooting team. You know, last in the league in terms of both threes made and taken last year. Grizzlies have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Conley kicks to Green. He feeds it to Gasol. That's good. Gasol's got six. And for the Grizzlies, you would think they would want to add a shooter to stretch the four for their bigs, but they don't need it. Well, Memphis takes enough threes to, just to keep teams honest against them, but you know, I think, Kevin, it always helps to have an extra shooter, whether it's a, a stretch four or somebody in the backcourt. And it's Tiny with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Memphis. Checked in for Gasol. John Moore comes in for Zach Randolph. And it's Carter in for Allen. Big group substitution here for Denver. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Nurkic. Laverne comes in for Darrell Arthur. Alinari, he's checked in for Wilson Chen. And Franklin subbed in for Barton. The Grizzlies have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Good on the second free throw. Well, you know, for teams in the NBA nowadays, it's all about getting bang for your buck. I mean, Mike Conley out of Ohio State one of the great value contracts in the league and with all the analytics and general managers looking for value Memphis happy to have an all-star caliber still player like him still locked up through 2016 now here's Green after the miss from Fernandez the drive by Green and again Memphis no good couldn't convert but nice little two-man game there and it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip tell you what guys this side really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on he's got an advantage in there and that one falls coming off Conley's feet Green's got his first bucket in this one here's Laverne can't get it to go now Memphis takes it the other way they beat the Nuggets during their last encounter in Denver. Now, the last meeting was, was a successful one. They were very sharp defensively, causing a lot of turnovers, and that swayed the game in their favor. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got his second bucket tonight. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, getting the ball into the post should be their first option every time down. Force the defense to adapt and adjust. What an easy win for him last time. As Steve mentioned, Clark, the turnover differential was a major factor. Yeah, I call it disruptive in a word from a defensive standpoint. They were all over him the whole game. Here's Lure looking for his first basket still in this one. Four on the shot clock. Here's Green. Kufus dishes to come. Green passes to Conley. Conley left side. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. 
That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Grizzlies lead by six. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Jefferson and the Charlotte Hornets hit the road for a duel with the Denver Nuggets, East versus West. Big time hoops coming your way. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you guys? It's Green in for Carter. Denver also making some changes. Norkic checked in for Hickson. Martin comes in for Harris. And it's Tiny in for Nelson. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Fernandez in at point guard. Gallinari is out there with Laverne. Then it's Will Barton. And it's Nurkic in at the five. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. And on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Memphis shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Well, solid numbers for this club uh, from the free throw line this season, shooting about 77% collectively. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Fernandez, that's good. 149 left to play here in the second quarter. Conley into the lane. Cans the 12-footer. Conley's got the lead up to 11 now for Memphis. It was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Here's Fernandez. Misses off the right iron. Such a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Here's Allen. Plays it up and banks it in. Allen's got his second basket of the game. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Martin with the rebound. The Nuggets trail by 13. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a loss to the Pelicans. Yeah, they really struggled to put points on the board throughout that game, guys. In terms of their offense, nothing seemed to go right. And once they started spiraling downward, there was no getting out of it, Steve. Um, their scoring just went dry. And it's Fernandez missing. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Clock. Here's Stokes, and that one's good. Stokes has got six points in the quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Here is Fernandez, covered by Conley, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Great job. Take it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left them no choice but to foul there. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And he's good on the second. Well, this is what you have to do when you're trailing. You've got to attack, be aggressive, and get to that foul line. And perhaps cause some foul trouble along the way. I mean, that can have a big impact down the road. Off with the layup. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. And they were right in his face. And we finished one. Well, Jameer. Okay, everybody, pay attention. We definitely got some stuff to go over from the first half. We're not going to let... 
Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hand. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Full market. Man, I know the team had a bad night, but I feel a little bit better knowing it wasn't as bad as your night. Hey, man, back off, all right? It's not like you led us to victories while I try to bring us down. You're not perfect. Relax. Man, I'm just messing with you. Just let it go. Get back on that horse tomorrow. Easy for you to say. You didn't embarrass yourself out there. I did. Forget it. The best shooters don't remember the misses. What misses? I got amnesia. That's the spirit. I've been rapping for about 17 years, okay? I don't write my stuff anymore. I just kick it from my head, you know what I'm saying? I can do that. No disrespect, but that's how I am.
finishes, number double zero, Darrell Arthur. At shooting guard, at six foot six inches, number five, Will Barton. Number 28, Javier Nelson. And forward from the wall, number 21, Wilson Chandler. At center, standing 6 foot 11, number 23. The head coach of your home. Once again, go Denver Nuggets. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Doris hey. two from the sideline. And a one-game homestand for Denver as the Nuggets will try to recharge their batteries on their home court. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. Well, we knew going into that game what they were up against, but that's still no excuse for the way things turned out, Clark. Well, perhaps it'll be a rallying point for them, Steve. I mean, knowing that the status quo isn't going to cut it against tough opponents, they might regroup. Here's the starting group for the Charlotte Hornets. Perry in the back. Hey. Okay, I got the one. Court, it's Walker and Henderson at the three. MKG and Cody Zeller at the four. And it's Jefferson in at the center. Let's go, let's go, let's go. After the miss three. Wake up, son. You're in. <laughs> oh, it's time to blow. What happened? I ain't farting. Oh, that's it. Hey, hey, hey. Here is up? Nelson. Oh, okay. He had a 12 point name. outing in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Gerald Henderson certainly helped by the hey, acquisition of Al Jefferson, which created some space for him on the perimeter. And he's made great strides with his outside shot over his career. I guess that's how Now, here is Nelson. Right now, he's getting seven Get points a game. Just four to hey, shoot. Hey, his ass. Here's Barton and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. Shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Tiny is checked in for Nelson. Wow. Come on, now, let's go. That one misses. It's not very often you can say this about the future. Oh, get out. So often the season ends and you're thinking about the issues you've got to deal with, but right now the Hornets headed let's in a good direction. The Nuggets trail by six. He tries for three. Oh! Shot is off. Look. Here was some nice D. Charlotte's gone. Oh, two from last. deep here. Come on, mate. Come away. The dish to Henderson. Oh, that D. Oh, that D. Jefferson setting the pick for Henderson. And here's Walker outside. That's Brick. The rebound by Henderson. Brick. Brick. Charlotte, Brick. as you said. Oh, yeah. Part of it is feeling good with their direction, but also Baby they actually have a direction after the way the last few years have been. Baby, I'd say that shot was well about? within his range. <laughs> you, you think so? I, I mean, down. I, I down. was pretty good from two feet and in, in myself. Away. That's a gimme there. Here's Henderson after the made shot from Fernandez. This ain't going nowhere. Henderson passes to Jefferson. Great. Now for him. You know, having a direction, as you mentioned, 
Damn. been a problem with Charlotte because they seem to change their minds every year about who they were going to be. And they did it for the last decade or so. Now it seems as though that the base is solid and they've got an idea of how they want to build and who they want to build around. And they've got a group that can grow together. Catching up on the changes for Denver. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Nurkic. Laverne comes in for Jarrell Arthur. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Wilson Chandler. And Franklin subbed in for Bart. Oh, that is good. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him. Took it straight to the basket. Outside Williams. Passes it to Biombo. From the arc. Roberts got his first three points of the game. Let's go, let's go. 59 seconds left in the first. Offense time. Here's Fernandez. And he baby ass niggas, man. I swear. The difference there is huge, Lobo, but he baby canceled ass, it out with great body control baby in the air. Yeah. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled yeah, by the big yeah. boy. Now here's Williams, averaging 12 points a game. Stevenson picks and grabs the board. Well, those chances are almost oh, always two points for him. I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. Fernandez. Green light, bitch. Green light. For the Nuggets. Look at that green light. Green light in there, you feel me? You that that green light, you definitely make it. Yeah, but that game defensively was an absolute nightmare. Squad. They went into that building yeah. and just got blown out. A very hot team. Well, they didn't like defend that. those Dude, shooters corner, like they street. should have. And once the fans got into it and the arena started rocking and thumping and bumping, and bumping <laughs> things only got worse. From 17 feet out, and the shot is good. Just look real, bro. Look real quick. Oh, long shit. Who wanna watch the long shit come on somebody's ass, bro? Look at that stuff. Bro, you gay from thinking that, bro. Look, bro. Now look. Wait, nigga. Hold on, wait. Wait, look, look. Okay, look. Look. Number 24. Right, that shit. No, look. Hurry up, bro. I told you I can't miss when I shit. Okay. shit. Look, little boy. All right, for real this time, look. Clutch. I had that green. See, I had that green light on his ass. You heard, you heard the. You heard my noise, man. Green light. Fernandez has got eight points. Green light. What do you mean? What do you mean? And here green comes Williams. Williams. He hasn't yet that. put up any points in this one. Over to the left wing. No good on the three. Fresh clock. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Hornets ahead, up by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Coming up next Tuesday, February 3rd, the Denver Nuggets hit the road to do battle with the Philadelphia 76ers. Man, that's coming on now. I ain't coming. Philadelphia. I'm getting fame now, little bro. I got two comments. And execution here for Denver. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Laverne. Martin comes in for Gallinari. Jamal Franklin, he's checked in for Harris. And it's time in for Nelson. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Jefferson's checked in for Biambo. Michael Kidd Gilchrist comes in for Lane Stevenson. Gerald Anderson, he's checked in for I've Brian Roberts. And Walker cold. subbed in for Williams. Fernandez in at point guard. Hickson is out there with Hickson. Yeah. Then it's Jamal Franklin. And it's Barton in at the small forward position. Yeah, That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Yeah. Well, come in. You know, Outside no Walker. Oh, bust your ass. They yes. set the screen. Kid Gilchrist sets the pick for Henderson. And there's the pass to Jefferson. Just five to shoot. Chris he takes Quash. the 12-footer and hits. Oh, no Jefferson's got six points. The field goal percentage has been bumped up into the high 50s now. 
Well, they should be winning. Shooting the ball like that. This is a very efficient offense we're seeing out of this ball. Dang. You know, fellas, once he got in the position under the board, I mean, he wasn't letting anybody get around him. Dishes it to Kid Gilchrist. Here's Franklin. And Chandler, here we go. And Denver again with the bucket. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Hornets leading by 11. Outside, Walker. He dishes it to Jefferson. Fades back. That is good. Jefferson's got the lead up to 13 now for the Hornets. Tough matchup there defensively. Go, he just doesn't go. have the height or the length to bother that shot. Pulls it from the elbow, and it's Fernandez missing. Now he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Got a piece of it. Fast break now for Charlotte. Walker dishes to Kid Gilchrist, and that one's good. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They really so shot the ball. Fuck out here, that weak ass ball. And it's all about quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. Push all ass, nigga. Oh yeah, ready for the bullets to be there? Here's Fernandez. No good on that last second attempt there. All right, I want everyone's eyes up here. Fuck, coach. There are a few coach. clear left. Now it's been a one substitution here for Denver. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Nurkic. Laverne comes in for Darrell Arthur. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Wilson Chandler. And Harris subbed in for Will Barton. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Biambo is checked in for Cody Zeller. Lance Stevenson comes in for Kid Gilchrist. Ryan Roberts is checked in for Gerald Henderson. And Mo Williams so in for there. Kemba Walker. On the there. floor for Charlotte, we got Brian Roberts. Bismack Biambo is out there with Lance Stevenson. Williams. And it's Jefferson in at the center position. Tiny is checked in for Denver. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Michael Kidd Gilchrist is developing his jump shot, but he's got everything else in his game. As Coach Steve Clifford said, first, he's an A1 competitor, and he's one of the few guys in the league that can night in and night out defend primary scorers and make it hard on them. He's team first. He just brings so much to our team. Gentlemen, back to you. A great energy player, Doris. Thanks. And it's tiny with the foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Hornets have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Good on both. I can't see them. Denver's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. One fifty-six left in the third. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Here's Hickson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two right chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, yeah, the referees all over the squad on my team. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Sean. So, how about all the points they're getting off turnover? They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Franklin's checked in for Denver. I want to watch with you, little boy. Let me see what you're doing. Watch your porn. If I want to see. And good on the second. Yeah, so what you doing? Watch your porn, nigga. Boy, JJ right. Hickson was drafted into the NBA after just one season at NC. Which Fernandez is checked in. Charlotte also making some changes. Cody Zeller's checked in for Jefferson, and it's Kimball Walker in for Brian Roberts. Fernandez, he's in at the point. Harris is out there with Levert, and there's Hickson, and it's Franklin in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Frustration foul there. You've got to maintain your composure. Yeah, he lost his cool there, Steve. I mean, you can understand it, but you can't excuse it. You don't got nothing to say about Big Buddy. You don't got nothing to say about Big Buddy. I know. What? Who? He hits the Who? second from you the gay? line. 
homosexual. And for J.J. Hickson, an athletic physical player, certainly, Steve, he, he fits with the Nuggets' yeah, style. Yeah, so, yeah, the way they come at you in transition and, and in waves. And, you know, Got him! Uh, big men offensive rebounding. I mean, that, that's a good fit, but, uh, you know, he had to deal with that ACL tear uh, back in March of 2014. So he's just rounding back into shape and trying to find his explosion again. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just total obliteration. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Hornets. Agreed, Steve. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. This win will give them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. Yeah, Steve, it don't mean a lot to them just the same, though. Anytime you go undefeated against an opponent, that's a sweet feeling. It always takes someone stepping up. And that happened here is we got great numbers for Kemba Walker. He just looked like an orchestrator out there, keeping his teammates involved, running to the open spots. I mean, he, he would constantly find them more often than not. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. First one falls for him. And some changes here for the Hornets. Maxiel comes in for Biombo, and it's Williams in for Cody Zell. Both shots good from the strike. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Franklin. He feeds it to Fernandez. Got him. Another shot. And the layup good by Hickson. Did you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket? Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. <laughs> Outside Williams. He kicks to Roberts. The feed to Stevenson. Right wing. And so it's the. Well, Gerald, this team's. Bro, sit your ass. Come on, little bro. Let me, bro, let me, little bro, let me see one fight, bro. Show you this. You gotta be ordered to watch this. I'm older than you, little nigga. Go watch it on your phone, bro. I can't, bro. You ain't gotta go live, bro. You ain't got no viewers anyway, bro. I do got viewers. Ooh. Second person you typed on right. my stuff. On my stuff. I ain't do that. I ain't say green light. Get your fucking dirty ass feet off. So my down. feet ain't dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you had me, little bro, but you don't got shit around here, little homie. Fuck you, talking about boy. Fuck you, talking about boy. Hey, bro. Bro, watch out, little dog. Can't catch me. I'll take your fucking stop, stop, stop. No. Oh. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. Bitch. Watch out. Watch out, bro. Boy, you gay, bro. Watch, bro. Watch out. Bro, 